I believe I am live. One second. Always tricky. There we go. We're live. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another stream of uh, Pokemon Shield Monotype Ghost Type Run. Where, um, well, we'll be playing the game, but only using Ghost Type Pokemon. Oh, right, I should probably zoom out here again. And uh, that that's the, that's the gist of things. Last time, I believe... Oh, it's been two weeks. Hey there, Vox. Audio level's alright again. I always wonder. Um, last time, we beat the Dark-type DM, which was one of my biggest fears, since that is our direct counter, the direct counter to our typing that we are only allowed to use. Uh, but that turned out to be fairly easy to get through. So... Today a few things we need to do is uh, travel back to Hammerlock for the last gym. And Vox will be helping me with trade evolving three Pokemon. And then I realized it's raining at Ra Lake of Outrage, which means technically, technically, we can catch Rotom and uh, Dracloak today. Here's the problem. <laughs> Both of those, uh, not only do they have insanely low spawn rates, um, Rotom is 2% and Draclog is 1%, both in both, both in both, both only as old sprites, but they also spawn at levels between 55 and 58. We're currently only able to cast things up to 55. So I think we need the final bats before we can get them, which means, nope, not Thunderstorm only, I checked it. Raining is also for those two. Thunderstorm and Raining. Um, but, uh, yeah, we kind of need to, to get the final bats to be sure that we can get them. The plan is that I will be trade evolving with Vox if Vox is ready. Then I'll be trying to see if we are ready for the gym, and otherwise we'll be, you know, grinding a bit until we get the proper levels. I think we should be fine, to be honest. Uh, especially with. Um, with our Gengar on front. And once we're done with that, we'll try and see if we can catch those two new Pokemon that we don't have yet. And then we're actually only lacking like three Pokemon that, that we haven't found yet. Uh, I need to change the item that uh, Dusclops or the Grim Heaper is holding. That monster is for sure. Because he needs to be holding a Reaper Cloth. Yes, I'm sure about Rotom. I checked, well, if Cerebi's data is, is to be trusted, that is, it says that it's both available during rain and uh, thunderstorm. So I hope that is correct. Let me see. We're trade evolving uh, Grim Heaper, Viridian, and Willow. These three. Uh, da, 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 da. We should probably actually also go and see if we can get Baldur to. Baldur to um, Evolve. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. We'll go to a lower level area, take some damage, and then go and drive. You know, Asgard needs some more levels. What is he? He needs to get to a 43. Okay, so that's still a bit of work, but we're getting really close to having everything fully evolved that we can get so far. So, um, Vox, are you ready or? Um, or how is it looking on your end right now? <clears throat> Sorry if I'm coughing a bit. Uh, allergies. It's that time of the year again. Yay. <laughs> hey, there's us. Uh, you're not that late. All I've been doing is telling what we're going to be doing today, so... I guess for you, everything that will happen will be a surprise unless you rewind, re rewind, rewind, jump back in time and um, watch it again. But basically, we're just gonna beat stuff up, get some badges, evolve some Pokemon, get some more Pokemon. Yeah, right. Okay, you'll have to turn on your switch. You know what? While you do that, I'll progress the plot a bit, and you just tell me in, in chat when you're ready. Um. All oh, right, the front door is open now. I don't need to go through the. I don't anymore. What about that? Wee. Right. 
Right, I should be talking. <laughs> well, um, not a whole lot to say, uh, to be honest. Because we'll head over here. It'll be like this huge gathering of people that... I don't know why they decided to build a mini labyrinth out of it. Uh, I'm just gonna move my tear a bit. There we go. Do I have to battle hop here? X-Mediac. Uh, that's me. We're, we're, again, all plot-related stuff happens over in my Let's Play rather than in in this, not uh, this. So, if you want the plot, feel free to watch my Let's Play. A Pokemon in a nutshell, yes, yes. Okay, you're ready, Vox. Um, okay, Hop is not gonna battle, it's good. Okay, um, bu -bu 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 I will start a link straight. That's it, a code. It will be, I don't know, three, no, three, six, four, seven. Three, six, four, seven. So, uh, just jump on that, and it, as I said, we'll be evolving three Pokemon, so I'm assuming you just sent me one, and then we'll trade them around, and then eventually we'll get up with that one again, like usual. Should be the easiest way, rather than sending them one, one, and then s sending three back to you again, that would be... You got to be kidding me! Maybe I shouldn't stand where I can be attacked. Lightpart. Do you, do you mind? I'm, I'm trying to do something here. I'll just move on to the bridge. I think that might be a good idea. There we go. I love that username. Boo, boo, bye. <laughs> no idea who it is, but nice, cl nice, um, <laughs> nice. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, you popped up here. It's just a matter of whether or not it connects. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Don't. Oh, you also got attacked. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll wait for you then. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. I was about to comment how don't you just love the Y comment, how it never really connects when you want it to, but of course, if we both got attacked, that would be why there's a delay on it. Here we go. Very nice looking mountain wall. I don't know, man. So, anytime now. Hopefully, us getting attacked didn't like. Screw up the YCOM entirely. Should I reset? <laughs> I wonder if I should reset because it it seems to be a bit um, a bit garbage. Not the Pokemon. Rubbish. I get the feeling we should probably reset, unless you're still in battle. Surely you would have fled. I'll take the moment to get something to drink real quick. And I have something to drink real quick. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna reset because this is evidently not working. They had a new code. This time, well, it'll just be this, what do you do? Three, six, four, seven. Three, six, all seven. Try again. Huh? Okay, we have a trade. Is it you? <laughs> it is you. Cool. Okay. One at a time. The only annoying thing about um, trade evolution is the fact that you can't re uh, can't what is it called? Stop it from evolving. So I will not get the actual evolution on Dream, which is pretty annoying. But can't really be helped. Oh great, I get literal trash, thank you. Now, 
Please no communication error. Please no communication error. Please no communication error. The last thing I want right now is for my Pokemon to get to your side. And then we both get soft banned for, what is it, three hours. Ah, oh, that would suck. You recommend I get a Corsola. Well, the problem with that idea is that I can't really... I don't think... I don't think I can catch one yet. Unless, uh, well, without doing the raid thing. So... I don't think that's a viable option. But... Dusclops, right, right? That's what I sent you, right? <laughs> For you to send back to me. Also, why would I use that? Is that really useful for the next? Oh! Hey there, cats! <laughs> yes, my favorite trash. Nothing like a good pile of trash. Ugh. He looks pretty cool like this. Is this one of the... I don't dare say anything. Is this a Generation 6 evolution? The Dusclops one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, I misunderstood you. What did I misunderstand you with? A box. <laughs> Yay, Dusk Noir. Cool. Almost, almost there. And then we can... Uh, Dusclops is a different species from a Dusk Noir. And with him oh, right. You want me to run Eviolite. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's not as fun. I want, I want all the ghosts, fully evolved. <laughs> it's in four. That was my second guess, to be fair. It's in four. Was the in four? The in four was. Uh, the in four is the generation I keep forgetting exists. Is that the one where they introduced a bunch of evolutions to previously existing Pokemon? It was, wasn't it? That would make sense then. Why didn't I guess Gen, in Gen 4 instead? Hmm. Oh well. To be fair, my mind was never Gen 5 for this one. So while it is on a technicality, you could have an Ev Eviolite Mon to add an extra asset to your time. But only one Eviolite per game, so wouldn't give you both. Would have to choose between the two. I'm not sure I get what you mean, Vox. I'm just gonna run by, by you know, the rules, which is I can't have duplicates. <laughs> also, uh... And just one more. Getting your trash back. Um, I don't think all the new evolutions were that bad in Gen 4. Most of them are just mediocre or forgettable. Oh, no split emergency. Uh, are you alright, Sess? <laughs> or is it uh, your kid that... that uh... Oh, well. Anyway. Almost done with its rating. So... What we'll be doing afterwards is, I mean, I'm assessing my team right now, just looking at the numbers here, and I'm, I'm thinking we should actually be able to take on the next, uh, next DM because our levels are pretty solid, or at least two of them, and fairly decent for two of them. And yeah, I, I think we should be able to just roll in guns blazing, well, mons blazing, I guess. If you have a Dusclops and a Dusknoir, you don't have a duplicate. Well, I, I consider it a duplicate because it's technically a duplicate in the same line of evolutions. Um, it's the same rule we run with in the Nuzlocke, remember? I, I don't like the whole technicality that... Uh, but it's technically not the same Pokémon since it's a different state in the evolution. I, I just... Uh, no, no, we're not doing that. 
But thank you for uh, helping me evolve these. Uh, that was... That was uh, well needed at this point. That was a T-Max. Huh. Well, the more you know. T-Max is so it's extra garbage. Okay. Well, let's have a look at our team now that we got these back. Um... Still want Asgard on here because he still needs to evolve. Should we go and deal with Baldur's while we are at it? We probably should, shouldn't we? Oh, Asgard, come back. So to evolve Baldur, he needs to have taken at least 49 damage. How much health does he have? He has 50, uh, 65. I'm thinking we just go to an earlier round with something that's like level 15 or something. And if we do that, what route would that be anyway? Wait, I didn't check the nursery here? I should probably go do that. I forgot to check the nursery so we can't fly there. Whoops. Oh. Oh, your husband had a nosebleed. You did uh, Hmm. I hope he's all right, Sass. Okay, let's just trigger this. Well, technically you don't necessarily always intend to evolve it in a Nostlog if you want to be real gimmicky. Um, if I remember correctly, I should stay with the Stoffel, right? <laughs> Safety concerns. Uh, Spritzy used to be fine. Spirit to Gengar and Haunter. Oh, Ghastly. Well, yeah, hmm. Okay, level 19, we should be fine. Let's see, Crafty Shield is... Let's not feel... F well, we'll see. If we can just, you know, make sure that we don't... Doesn't affect Bolt. He finally wants something to hit me. Regularly, really? Hmm. Um, does Spritzy have anything that can actually hit me? It does. Okay, good. Oh, no, no, don't make me... Does Healer make it... What, what does Healer do? What is the ability Healer? I don't want to heal. It's the last thing I want right now. Also, Vox, you can quince all you want. I'm gonna call it a gimmick godless. <laughs> okay, Spritzy has learned. It knows that it can hit me now. Uh, how much... If I need to take 49 damage... That's like 20... And then... Minus 9... That's 16 health I need to be at. Well, you're not wrong that you're an idiot if you run all states one Pokemon in 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 a monotype run. But I still feel it just feels better to have them all evolved and not have duplicates in my it's a preference thing, I guess. I like it that way. Okay, so one more hit on me should be enough to get us down to where we want to be, I think. If not, then we'll bail. We'll find something that's like level two that can hit me. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect. Okay, run. And now we just need to go to that weird rock, and this is such a weird, weird way to evolve stuff. I'm just happy, though, that we don't have Inkey, In Inkey, to evolve, because that would be hell to try and do on stream. I'd have to, you know, I guess, connect my webcam and then point it at my console while, while I pull it out of the... Thing, I don't know. It would be weird. It would be annoying. We're not gonna do that, thankfully. <laughs> so, to evolve Baldur, and I. It boggles my mind how anyone found this out without data mining the game. It needs to take 49 damage or more, and then you need to drive it all the way to this specific rock formation and drive it under that rock formation, and it will just evolve. 
And it's just like... Why Game Freak? Of all the obscure weird things you could do, why this? Also, does this mean that we'll... What, what if we get... What if we get a Galarian... Um, uh, Galarian and uh, Yamaskin in, in a future generation? How are we going to evolve it? You're going to have to do something about that, right? Game Freak, you're weird. Uh, your chance with Eviolite is the way to go in competitive tank, but you realize being... Uh, fair enough. Uh, Shadow Claw. Uh, I keep wondering spirit, really? Okay. Shadow Claw... Bum, 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 bum. I want that. Is there really any point in... This is good if I can actually deal... Can can Ronericus learn things that or status conditions? Oh, actually, we'll just get rid of Mean Look. <laughs> There's no point in making sure that a Pokemon can't flee. At least not against NPCs. <laughs> that was an easy pick. Okay, so I think we've basically evolved everything we can right now. This is cool. Only thing we're lacking now is catching... Oh, sorry, that's Asgard. Asgard, you're the, the outlier, but you're still... We still kinda like you. Kinda. Um, X is worthless. Oh, okay, in this case, I guess, but... Well, I mean, look, is even more worthless, so... Potato, potato. Um, we'll... We'll travel to Hamlock now, and I'm thinking we just head into the gym, because why not? Oh, well, that was a decent. This game isn't that hard um, when you're not... when you don't have to worry about Nosloc rules, at least. So... Yeah, I know Mean Look also runs Switz out, but let's be honest. I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem against... Uh, problemed? Problem against an NPC. These guys are not the... I mean... Their AI is definitely better than than, all, than some of the previous generations, but look at that. That's a com complete set of different balls. That's actually kind of cool. I've never had that. <laughs> I know that's a very weird, very small detail. Um, Raihan, Raihan, Raihan. I guess we just head straight into the TM, right? Oh, there's a call scene here. Well, so, <laughs> fun fact. We are now further in my monotype than we are in the Nosloc. So all this extra story here is technically... Well, if this is the first time you see it, it's technically spoilery. But... Well, I mean, you'll get the context if you watch either Vox's stream, which uh, normally happens on, on Mondays, or my episodes uh, of my point of view, which release on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I'm not streaming. And it's always lagging a bit behind. Although it is catching up now. So... I will say though, what happens now is one of my favorite things to happen to Sonya. Is it not now? Oh, it's later. Damn it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> when you don't read things, you, you lose the context. But since we're here anyway, yes, it's it's big, it's impressive, it's a building. Uh, since we're here anyway, I just realized there are actually a few NPCs I want to talk to. <laughs> First, I want to talk to this guy. He loves the weather. He's gonna give us all kinds of stuff. The damn Brock. Okay, we're like two items away from being done with him. Ugh. I, I'm tempted to do that off camera since it's a daily thing, and otherwise it'll take like another month before we're done with him. Although, to be honest, it doesn't really matter if I get all the items from him because I don't really use weather conditions anyway. Just know that he's there. Um. The other thing I want to do is check what this guy's selling today. A protector. It's... I'm buying it. We really don't need it. If I remember correctly, it's just an evolution item. Hey, what is the next thing it's like, sir? Reaper cloth. Oh, uh, we don't need that. The more I play, the more I realize that I should not have spent, what was it, five battle points on a reaper cloth in, the, in one of the earlier streams. Since now we've bought that one. Um, it's apparently available from that guy. And we got one for free. Huh. 
So, um, what do? Oh, have we? We haven't spoken spoken with Volga in here, have we? No, we have not. We get a level ball. That's actually a pretty nice looking ball. If I, uh, hmm. Okay, so this gem is interesting. I bel <laughs> well, it's interesting in, in one way and really boring in a different way, but we'll get to that. Anyway, um, this, the gimmick of this gem is double battles. So, and I believe we cannot change, um, what is it called? Uh, we can't change the, 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 the yeah, this, the, the Pokemon's design is amazing. I love this Pokemon. It's uh, one of my favorite ghost types, to be honest. So, yeah, it's definitely too weak to, to run the entire DM, but I think we can just generally counter things. Uh, honestly, I maybe we should just take whatever is highest level and head in there, because I don't think we're going to have that much trouble. I still want levels on Asgard. Um, problem with running Viridian up front is that it's going to be good in the first battle, but after that, the next problem becomes that, um, the next problem after that becomes, one moment, just doing something real quick. Hmm. <laughs> Don't mind me. Yep. Um. So the next thing we're gonna do is just run in with these. I kind of want to run the reading up front because of Pelipper in the first battle, but then the next battle it's a fire type, so it's not a good idea to do that. I I think, generally speaking, taking something up front that's just uh, somewhat neutral to the whole thing should work. So we're gonna run with this now that I've spent like half an hour on prepping. And actually, just to make sure that I don't lose anything in regards to our trade evolutions, I'm gonna do this. Because the game has crashed on me before, so... And we're just gonna run in and we'll see what, what happens, because why not, right? Oh, right, I forgot we don't go into the main stadium yet. We get sent out here. So if you thought... We, we, okay, we had a lot of very interesting GMs so far on our travels with puzzles and cool layouts. And then we have the dark type GM. It was a long corridor, which was a bit of disappointment. And then we have this. It's it's literally just a room where we don't even get to walk around, which is a bit... Uh, underwhelming? <laughs> In my opinion, at the very least. Hmm. But yeah. We're gonna take out these jokers. Sebastian. It's interesting. It, it still confuses me that it's supposed to be like a dragon focused GM, but. Like, Pelipper is not a dragon by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I think I'm just gonna, see, he's gonna use, he has his weather in, uh, in his favor, it's good for him, but I'm just gonna do this. Will-O-Wisp is mainly just to try and lower its uh, attack, as well as making sure that afterwards I can just hex it, because why wouldn't I use something that does good damage, right? Hmm, that's actually more damage than I expected it to deal. Hmm, we'll have to deal with that afterwards. In regards to healing, the good thing is that we have leftovers on that. I forgot. Wait, what happened to my... I was... You know what, we're gonna change 
Ooh, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, I probably missed, didn't I? I have... I spaced out there for a moment. <sighs> so, um... The big thing that that actually dealt a lot of damage. That actually dealt a lot of damage, but this also gives a lot of damage. So, the big thing that I'm worried about in regards to this... Um, Jim is really Raihan himself because his Gigantamax Pokemon is scary. <laughs> and as a result. Oh, I just remember that we don't we don't get time to heal between battles either. I guess we'll have to start the next battle by healing Killer Frost. It's fine. It's not a big deal, we have revives. I actually forgot to check our stash of healing items. Which is a shame. It's, it's a damn shame. Oh well, can't be helped. We should have fine. I'm usually stacked up, up on those uh, pretty well, and I believe I... Oh, actually we do have time. Okay, I thought, I thought it was like a cavalcade of, uh, of battles. But we do have time to heal and switch around. I need to check something real quick again. Uh, there's some technical stuff that I need to make sure is running. Sorry about this, guys. It happens. Everything is looking green on all. Yep, everything's doing green. Cool. I just needed to make sure that that everything was running because I've had some internet issues today. But okay, the fact that we can switch Pokemon around between battles actually helps uh, a big deal. Because if me, my controller did not react. There, thank you. It means that I can now do the. No, I do not want to do that. I want shoot. I don't have a. I don't have anything to counter. <laughs> Counter grass type, uh, fire type. That's fine. We'll deal with it. So. Let's see. Nine tails, tornado. I never understood why we needed a tornator in, um, in the game series, to be honest. But. Someone thought it was a good idea with another turtle that was themed around an element. So, fine. Let's take out Tortinator first because it is really the one we need to worry about here, in my opinion. Shell Trap. Um, right. I don't remember what Shell Trap. Shell Trap is an attack that it uses now, but it executes next round. I actually don't remember. I remember there's something about it that I... Yes, yes, that is a nine tails. It definitely is. Um, I don't actually remember its gimmick. If it comes back and bites me in the bot now, then... I mean... <laughs> then... Oh, oh, we could also just take out both Pokemon before it becomes a problem. You can disable that all you want to. I won't need it <laughs> against you again. Nine tails. That is fine. So, um, regardless what's happening now, the next Thing is an Obama Snow and a Hakamo. Um, Obama Snow is Grass Ice. That's an interesting combination, but it leaves it completely and utterly weak to um, what is it called? The Fire, which is our starter Pokemon, so we should not have a problem there. Hakamo, at the other hand, is a Dragon Fighting type. 
that's a bit of a more tricky one, but I think we're just gonna take that on with... Um... Oh, why am I in here? I should switch my Pokemon around. I think I'm just gonna do that by adding... Just using Sadako again, because why not, right? There's literally no point in not just using that, especially because the fighting type is gonna work against it. Which um, is definitely gonna be good, because if it tries to use any fighting moves on a ghost type, I mean, it's not gonna get very far with that. That's of course the dragon attacks, but let's deal with that as, as it comes. There's no point in, uh, in worrying too much. We'll just will a wisp it so we can hex it, and then we're gonna emperor the other one, right? No problem. 4x weakness to fire will take out a bounce snow in probably one hit. So, we'll fix that by doing that. Um, I'm still. If I seem a bit. Um, what's he called? Not focused, it's because I'm trying to figure out what to do about Raihan himself. Hmm. I believe. Hmm, I, the problem is the big uh, skyscraper of a dragon that I forget what what typing is. We'll look at that in a moment when it becomes relevant. Wait, why am I doing that? I should use Hex. It's, in, uh, it's on fire. There's no reason not to. Uh, we'll do that same thing here. Might as well. Okay, I knew it would hit hard. I didn't think it would hit that hard. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame that Asgard gets so little XP from these battles, because I really wanted it to evolve, but it'll get there eventually. It's fine. And then that's that's all for this gym. It's it's really underwhelming. Like, I can understand the whole idea where it's like, it's supposed to be, it's cool, it's double battles, you don't really do those anywhere else, but... But it was one room, and... That was it. Um... So, for Ryan himself... He's gonna run uh, a rock type, a ground dragon type, a ground type, and a steel dragon. It's mostly the steel dragon that I have an issue with. Rock type shouldn't be a big issue because we can just like we're gonna run Viridian up front because why not? Um, the same goes with Flygon. I'm just gonna use Viridian there uh, again because ground ground type is also weak to grass, right? If I remember correctly, yes it is. And the same goes for um, for Santa Conta. So it's really only Duraludon. It is still Dragon though, so I'm hoping Chandler will be able to um, to fix it. Um, thinking here, why am I not? I should at the very least make sure that the item setup is all right. It it uh, it is actually. Hmm, it is. Okay, so we're gonna head in. I'm gonna take on Raihan, and hopefully win. If we don't, well, I mean, we'll get the XP and we'll just do it one more time. Thankfully, this game is pretty. L Pretty forgiving when it comes to the idea that um, if I lose to Raihan, I don't have to do all the trainer battles again because I technically already qual qualified for the, the um, what's it called, team leader battle. So no biggie there. Uh, it is a double battle though. I for <laughs> when setting up, I completely forgot that it's still double battles. I should not have um, I should not have Tantal up here yet. He's really bad to have up here against the rock types. So the first thing we're gonna do, I knew there was something I forgot. The first thing we're gonna do is take Chandler and uh, oh wait, uh, wait wait wait, am I swapping the right Pokemon? No, I'm not. Uh, we're gonna take this and we're gonna attack. Well, either of them is fine. We'll take out people at first. We will swap Chandler for Sadako because Sadako. Um, Is uh, um, tanky, so why not? That damage is not too bad, to be honest. 
Uh, Cursed Body also makes sure that it's not gonna use that attack again. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I think Chandler should be fine to take out. Uh, what is he called again? It's Drowdon. It's such a weird Pokemon name. Uh, fun fact: Drowdon is, as far as I've understood, based on really didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Um, based off a building in. In the UK, which is kind of cool. So, there's that. <laughs> Apparently, it's a building in London. I think I, I believe I've seen that building when I was over there, which is interesting. At least uh, my friends and I spotted a building that looked a lot like it and was like, oh, yeah, that's probably the one that it's based off. Not assume at the very least. So, Ikilith can, yeah, it will have one more hit, which is fine. Sandstorm, oh that. Wait, why is Sandstorm super effective again? Gengar? Oh, it's probably it's poison typing, isn't it? That's uh, not good. Poison is because it poison is weak to ground. Oh. Hmm. I didn't think this one through, did I? I really didn't. Uh, again, it's fine. Like, we're gonna be able to win this battle regardless of what happens, simply because we can always revive Pokemon again. Plus, X is really powerful. <laughs> That's gonna kill already. Okay. Slightly underestimated uh, this battle, but it's fine. Okay. Thankfully, only two hits. And Sandstorm. And Salico stands. Okay. It's not too bad. We'll live with it. Uh, Flygon gets knocked down thanks to Burnt, which is good. Alright. Uh, well, bye, Salico. We will have to switch out both our Pokemon, which is a bit of a setback. I'll revive Viridian again, because honestly, um, I should, <laughs> because I need it for these battles. Atlas still going out. It was a big mistake to have him out first. Uh, I don't like putting out uh, with. Um, I don't like putting out. Where is it called? Bosslass. Because it's relatively weak. This is annoying, but. Uh, Uh, right. I forgot that it had used rocks, uh, the rock spike thing. Uh, ice is good against grass, ground, ground. Okay, it's good against ground. So we're going to use the turn of the Grim Keeper to revive Viridian. Because we might as well. And then. We are uh, Dynamax Killer Frost. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest, though. I really want Gigalith out here at this point. I'm tired of looking at it. And uh, it really has no reason to stay on the boat, so to speak. I can critical hit is good, 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 good. That deals with that issue. Um. I hope we can deal with this gym in a fashionable time, because if we can do that, we can go and capture the last two Pokémon today. And that will basically give us all we have available before the leak. If we don't have it, if we don't do it today, um, I'll have to wait for another day where the weather lines up, which, when I only do this bi-weekly, is a bit of a hit or miss. If that happens, I might do like a mini um, stream at some point. Where... Did I not use fire on Santa Conta? Hmm. Oh no, no, I didn't because I... Yeah, and that's true. I need to continue with that process. Just to make sure I have a backup in Iridium. The Duraliton is now on the board. 
Oh, I'm also... Need that. Mm, I'm gonna do this just to mess with him. It bothers me having to use hail since I don't like that effect, but at the same time I'm looking at this like he wants that sandstone spiriting because he uses it for his advantage. I'm not gonna give him the advantage. Because by doing that... Oh, well, I get a disadvantage obviously, so... <laughs> We're just gonna continue with this battle exactly as planned. Yeah, I expected that to happen, to be honest. Um, well, I expected it to happen. I didn't expect it to be slower than the Raladon. Hmm. Oh, Tiantor is faster, because otherwise we're going to have a bit of an issue here. Sans Sandstorm is fine, Leo. Is so that something? I don't like that he still has the Santa Conta on board. It does make me a bit worried in regards to Chanter. Oh, frick's sake. Okay, I'm gonna spend the first turn healing Chanter because I do not want... Uh... Wait. Dragon versus fire. Oh, it's not super effective. Yeah, it's not super effective. It is not super effective. Well, that is just brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot that the Raladon has one of those typings where it's like, hey, you think that this is what you're going into, but if you forget that uh, one of the typings is dual typing is resistant to something, then... Then you get this problem where things are just like near full damage, so it's, it's a bit annoying. It's fine, we'll deal with it. Please do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna deal with it. That is incredible damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that should probably take out Tiantic, unfortunately. But. Oh, really? All oh, right, because the Sandstorm is over, even though it's super effective. And here's the Sandstorm again. You bastard, you did that? You really did that. I uh, should have seen that coming. It's kind of his thing that he does. It's kind of all. Oh, Tandor's paralyzed. Okay. That's just annoying. Uh, does he have... I really hope they had a priority move. I really hope they had a priority move. It should be... Let me think. Uh, actually, since we do, since we're doing dual battles, why don't we just use that to our advantage by doing a paralyze heal at the Grimkeeper's turn, and then straight up just destroy it with Chantel's turn? It's um, it yeah, cats. It really is a weird, a cool. I don't know, I guess it's kind of cool. It's weird at the very least, I totally agree with that. It's a very unique design with a lot of creativity behind it. Which is something you can't say about all Pokemon designs unfortunately. But this one, definitely. So, with that out of the way, I am completely calm about this battle because that is, that's the big roadblock. Now we just need, need to deal with the, this this thing, which uh, should not be a problem in any way, shape or form. So, let's just do that. <laughs> As I said, no problem in any way, shape or form. And with that done, now we can, uh, now we can challenge the leak. We got all the badges. So we'll be working towards that next time. I don't think we'll hit the leak next time because there is a route before the leak. Uh, thankfully, they decided not to go with like a um, 
Victory Road style stupid dungeon thing where you have to find your way through a labyrinth. They thankfully decided that it was a bad idea not to do that. So, that's good. <laughs> Instead, it's just... It's a pretty straightforward route filled with Ice-type Pokémon, and that's about it. So, um... Yeah, we'll just do that next time, that is. Oh, will it be next time? It probably will be next time. Yeah, because today... Uh, how long? We only spent one hour. Hi, cats. Um... We might actually be able to take on route... Is it 11? I think it's 11. I don't remember the route numbers. I know that they're not that high. Oh, wait, that's probably gonna be like a hot battle here, isn't there? One last battle before we need to see him in the league. Um, let me just double check what route number, because now both me I can remember. It's route, it's, it's, it's route 10. There are only 10 routes in the Galar region for some reason. This is fine. I mean, the only thing that I kind of feel the region lacks is more like caves but you know oh this is the cutscene that I was thinking of when we first started not that we'll be reading any of it but visually there is something really pleasing coming up and it might be because I'm a bit biased towards uh, a certain clothing attire <laughs> uh, lab coat but regardless I prefer that to a trench coat <laughs> And yeah, from here it should be pretty straight shot straight to um, straight to uh, to um, what's the last what is the last town called? Oh, sorry, it's a city because it's it's like really big compared to <laughs> everywhere else. Um, what is that place called again? Oh, it's something that sounds metropolitan or whatever that word is, like a met metropolis. It's Winden. Winden. So. <laughs> yes, lab goat. <laughs> lap cat. No cats, that's uh, not a lap cat. <laughs> but now we can catch things that are higher level than 55. We will be going and see if we can find those two um, Pokemon that I like. Okay, Rotom is a 2% chance and the... Uh, what is it called? Dracloak is a 1% chance, and they're both... The good thing is they're both oval sprites, so I basically just need to wait for them to spawn. I'm saying lab code, like Junkrat is saying drop ship. Am I? Really? I didn't consider that. <laughs> well, I like, I like lab codes, what can I say? I mean, for frick's sake, the entire time... well... At least for half of the, uh, the current world situation where I've been at home, I've been wearing a lab coat around house because it's nice and warm and no one's gonna judge me, right? So why not? So we are just gonna make it uh, across here to the Lake of Raids or the Eevee Island or Evolution Island, whatever you want to call it. It's technically the, Raids, the Lake of Raids Island. I suppose the Lake of Raids is really the water next to it when you think about it. Uh, we don't need any of these. Oh, actually, we do need one of them, don't we? What did we... Do we? I feel like that was a stone we lacked last time. Oh, we've been here before. Right, we've been here before. Okay, so we're looking for... Dracloak and Rotom. And... <laughs> that thing is neither of those. <laughs> So, uh, bah, 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 bah. the problem, the good news is that they should be around. The bad news is there are no spawn crates. So we could be driving around in this bad weather for a while. Oh, we've been here, but I never picked this up. Let's salt west. Vest. I swear English words sometimes. Um, Rotom is very easy to spot in that it's like sparkly effects. Uh, the well, Rotom should be easy to spot if it wasn't because... Look at all these big guys. 
I'm actually a bit ooh, I'm actually a bit surprised to see that uh, Rosem is supposed to be a one a two percenter because I remember be there it is being here and accidentally running into like three of them. Uh, two at once and then one right afterwards, which was interesting. So, we have it here. Uh, a quick ball is more than likely not gonna work. I should have put something else up front, but more than likely that's not equal to definitely not. So I'm still gonna try. It's still the first round, so you never know. I could be lucky. I was so close to being lucky. <laughs> so, the good thing is, well, the bad thing is that, that, that that's a critical hit to feel a lot of damage. The good thing is, we also have Dusk Balls. Bad news is, we only have <laughs> Why did I never go around? Why did, why did, why did I never buy Dusk Balls? Why, why did I never buy Dusk Balls? I should have bought a stack of those. That is such a misplay on my end. Hmm. The main issue here is that we're still gonna hit by the um, by the under level punishment. We also only have ten ultra balls. Okay, so when we hopefully catch this, I think I'll have to go and see if I can find more balls because I'm not gonna find a one percenter only for me to not catch it because I ran out of balls. Substitute, can I... Can I catch it when it's the Substitute? Uh, do I have a... I have a Pokeball. I've never dealt with Substitute before. It definitely goes in the ball still. Okay, so close in a freaking Pokeball. Fascinating. Uh, can I stay this condition it? I cannot. Uh, should I hit it? I probably should. Do I care? Not really. Oh, Luxury Ball. Let's try that. So far we've had quite good luck with those for some reason. Although, let's be honest, it's all RNG, so yeah, exactly. It did not work. Which is fine. Fine. Best ball, friend ball, lower ball, level ball, heavy ball, bum, 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 bum. We just gotta throw a few more ultra balls, see what takes us. If need be, we'll start with great balls. If need be, we'll then. Pocket balls? <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to go and buy more balls after this. I also definitely. Wait, if I switch my Pokemon, something of better level now. It'll, it'll remove the penalty, right? If I have something level 55. Problem is I don't, but if I switch to something that's at least higher level, I should still get less penalty? I don't actually know how the under level penalty is like. Is it just if my level is lower? Or is it uh, a matter of whether or not, or how much lower it is? Because it would make sense if it's like a calculation where if I am, say, I'm 20 levels lower, I should definitely have a hard time catching it. But if I'm only like two levels, it should be easier. But I have a feeling that, that that's not a calculation that, okay, switching definitely seems to have worsened my odds for some reason. I have a feeling that um, Game Freak's not the type who would actually run with the idea of doing a calculation on the fly like that, rather than just a hard value. Vox, by any chance, do you can? By any chance, do you uh, do you know how they do that? If it's like uh, one or the other? Because I don't. Uh, I'm actually. I don't know. I'm gonna will a wisp it. It's gonna stay its condition. It's gonna put a timer on it. But I can't do that when it has a substitute. If I destroy the Substitute, what happens? I've, I've literally never dealt with Substitute before. If, if I destroy it, does it... Uh, it doesn't take out... It just takes out the Substitute, right? Yeah, okay. That works. Trick. Uh, I don't even remember what that does. So, if I burn it now, while well, I have a chance... 
I'm still faster, that's good. Hmm. Definitely should have gone and bought some more balls. Game. What a shame. To throw this. I mean, having its status affected at least. Uh, no, apparently. Hmm. Hopefully, it doesn't die before it catches it. I mean, otherwise, it didn't take that long to find that one. I'm hoping that uh, that's just a trend that we're gonna see. 2% isn't that bad. Especially in this area, because because of how many things that spawn, if you just drive around from one end to the other, uh, it despawns all the stuff at the other end of the the island area. And um, well, that uh, in order to spawn stuff in the end you're in, so that way you can just drive back and forth to get new spawns, which is much easier than having to fly out of the area, or much easier than any of the routes at least. So, thankfully, that's the case here. And thankfully, Rotem decided to find a court. We need to go and find someone who sells um, Dusk Balls. Um, I know the locations of the Wild Salesman, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. Oh, no. We need to nickname it. I hadn't thought of this. this. Okay, Rotom is a mysterious spirit made out of electricity. What do we name something like that? <sighs> any of you guys in chat got any ideas? I'll, be the, I'll look a bit around the room like I usually do. Maybe I'll find something. Well, you guys have been good at helping so far, so... <laughs> Maybe you can come up with something good, good again. Serious. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't need to be a reference to anything, it just makes it more fun. I'm just sitting here thinking, what do we call it? What do we call it? I'm so bad at names. Rotom. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true, Cats. Could also go with the horror reference. I am... a bit blank in regards to this. Hmm. I really need to... <laughs> this is something that I want to apologize for. I should probably have prepped nicknames before the stream so that we wouldn't have this issue. Um, I mean, I could always go with reference from a main character from a horror game, I guess. Um, actually, let me just find Fatal Frame. Right here on the shelf, because... We just name it, uh, it's gentleness, right? Yeah, it is. So we could name it anything, really. Uh, why am I looking for Fatal Frame when that's not what it's called in Europe? Project Zero, here it is. Ugh. Because why not name it after a name uh, of a character from a really good game that I never finished? Because I had hoped that on the box it would tell me her name. But the good thing is, it's a PlayStation 2 game, so it has a manual in it. So we can just look it up in the manual instead of having to, to Google it. At least I expect there to be a character section in this thing. Uh, remember game manuals? That's a long time ago, isn't it? Is there a, probably a table of contents? 
Um, character pro wow, character profiles are in the back of this manual. Thrilling, right? Listening to me shuffling through a manual. She's called Miku. We, don't we already have... No, that's in my other Let's Play. Well, we can call her Hanasaki, which is her last name. Um, that would at least make it more interesting than Miku. So, Hanasaki. Hanasaki. There we go. Found a name. Problem solved. <laughs> but yeah, as you said, um, cats. The nicknames are so hard to come up with on the fly. I'm actually kind of impressed that for my Nosloc, where I'm completely and only trying to find it and there is no theming, that I've been able to well, come up with anything. So, right now, before we try and get the last Pokemon, I'm gonna try and see if I can find the guy. These are repeat balls, they're not gonna help us when it's a brand new Pokemon. I'm gonna try and find the guy who currently sells Dusk Balls. Because Dusk Balls are um, like. Um, if I have understood this right. Uh, the sales, there are an uh, X amount of people who get me off the bike. Um, of these guys around the wild area who sells different things. This was a dive balls. And um, there should always be one guy who sells one of each. It's just a matter of where he's located, I think. My problem is I'm not sure I ever looked up to confirm that. If I remember correctly, those two are the only ones in this half of the wild area. Because the next one is down by the daycare. daycare? Admittedly, I haven't actually driven around up here that much. It's not exactly my favorite area, mostly because very often there's a freaking sandstorm and I hate the sandstorm because one, it makes for really bad video quality and two, it makes for really lacky uh, gameplay and three, I hate the lack of visibility especially because when I'm driving around out here normally in my casual game it's usually because I want to find rates and when there's a sandstorm or a snowstorm I can't really see the rates at all which is kind of annoying uh, we're not talking to you, not, you know, we don't care about you, we care about him he sells repeat balls. I feel like we've just got a repeat salesman. So we're gonna fly down here and take it from here instead, and then drive uh, clockwise around the southern part of the wild area, because that is how I usually find it to be more efficient. Nest balls also not what we're looking for, That's because there is one. Does anyone explain to me how I hit the hitbox of Onyx? Because as far as I could tell, I was at least four bikes to the left of it. Although I guess the empty area under its head counts as a... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Did Game Freak go lazy and do it PlayStation 1 style, where instead of having accurate hitboxes, they just gave it a box around it? N no. Surely they wouldn't do that, right? Unfortunately, I know that, yes, they they probably would, because it's it's the easy way to do it. And since they've never done overworld sprites in this, uh, this extent, probably what they were more comfortable with for testing purposes, um, like testing the waters, because they, they want to try something new. There he is. New is up here somewhere. Heal ball. <sighs> the next guy is straight up outside of um, Motorstoke, so we're just gonna fly up here. And then I believe there's only one more after that, and if none of these guys have the Dusk Ball, well then my hypothesis have been proven wrong. Netball. Well, one more guy to go. If I remember correctly. He's down there by the bridge. Uh, Who's that guy? Wait, what? Who's that guy? Is he just a random trainer who I can battle? I don't recall there ever spawning any trainer specifically in this corner? Who are you? What? Is this an NPC I just completely forgot existed, or did they add him in in an update to try and help people who got lost in the wild area? I don't remember him at all. I've been running, I've been driving uh, around this 
place like so much. Welcome back, Sess. So much for the raids. So I'm a bit confused as to uh, what's up with that. Luxury ball. Okay. Well, my hypothesis has been has been disproven. Um, no dark balls, huh? Dusk balls. Unless there is one guy out. There's a guy around here, isn't there? I'm gonna stop here. Not stop, like, with the stream or anything, but drop, drop down here. I'm gonna take over here because I have a feeling I've missed one. For as much as I've driven around this place, I sure seem to have a bad memory, too. I believe there might be another guy over here. Either on this side of the bridge or the other side of the bridge. That's her, she doesn't count. She's something completely different. Well, that was a Pokemon. This one was supposed to be one like at the wall over here. We found a ball we haven't picked up, so. That's. Oh. Camera, wait for me. What? Okay, get off the bike. Waterstone. Swoop to do. That is uh, pretty useless for us. The free revive, at the other hand, is not too anything to scuffle that. This one was supposed to be a dude here somewhere, right? I feel like I've driven... Well, I stuff I feel like I've driven way off course at this point, though. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Vox, if you're still around, could you do me a favor and, and try and help me find the guy I'm looking for? I feel like I missed one. I just wanted this, this Clinty. I didn't want you. I miss you. My Nuzlocke. That's what. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, if we're not going to be able to find any dust balls, then we're going to try and bank it on a quick ball, and I'm going to go back and buy a... Lo <sighs> it's the one thing I don't like about the wild area and, and the overworld sprites, is that they can run into me like this. Actually, repels are still a thing, right? But I also kind of don't want to use repels, because then when I actually want to find something, I'll have to drive around in a circle until it wears off, so... Well, we're finding items that I forgot out here, so... Firestone. We're finding a lot of evolution items that I forgot out here. Oh, that's probably just an owl. We'll just ignore it. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm remembering wrong and there isn't a guy? Why is it always I noon? This thing. This thing. If you ever played this game... You know how annoying it is to drive around when this thing is around. If you haven't, I can tell you that whenever you try and get around, it has a tendency to be like, Oh, I want to jump in front of you because apparently I really want to get hit by your bike for some reason. Arr. It's also just because of the random running patterns, which makes it really... makes it harder to predict where it's going. You basically need to stop your bike and just and wait for it to run in a straight direction away from you. So at this point I'm kind of getting to the conclusion that I am just thinking of an imaginary guy that doesn't exist. Because I have not seen the guy I was thinking of. So um, we're gonna check the, the, the center of this area for another guy just in case and then I mean we just drive back to Hammerlock. Because we're going there anyway for the Ultra Ball, so if, if there is one out here, please show your face. If you're not, well then I... Yeah, I need a better memory. It's, it's sunstone. There's a lot of evolution items out here. I thought sure that you only got them on the island in Lake of Raids, but I guess I stand corrected. They are just scattered around the wild there in general. Apparently. 
Nope, that's an S. Okay, so there's no point in, in, in you know, driving the last bit when you can just fly. Teleport? Well, let's be honest, it's teleporting because we never see see the uh, taxi actually arrive. Also the fact that we literally are still on our bike when we drop down. So weird. So, we'll buy some... Um, yeah, I know I beat another TM. Don't worry about it, mate. We'll buy some items here. Uh, did we really use nine Ultra Balls in that attempt at catching it? Let's go here anyway. We'll stock up on some healing items because... We used quite a few of those against Raihan. At this point, Raihan is but a distant memory that we don't have to worry about anymore. I barely remember that the battle happened. And yet, I'm still sitting here and thinking that battle's gonna be so tough for the Nuzlocke. Um, we're here anyway, we might as well heal. We're gonna head back now to Lake of Raids. Hopefully get, um, Rakloak. Rakloak? Wrong station. And... I am hoping... That, let's see, we've spent 25 minutes getting Rotom and, and then trying to find a dude who sells balls that is not around apparently. Brilliant. The Route 10 might be a bit of a pipe dream at this point. We might get onto Route 10. It depends entirely on how generous the game is in regards to one, spawning Drag Cloak, it's 1%, and two, letting me cats because we are on the level. <laughs> Linoon really wants to eat my bike. Damn you, Linoon. This bike is not food. We're just gonna run from you because we don't care about you. And I just spotted uh, that I should prop home. Whoops, not the back. I hate the fact that my controller. I don't know why the Joy-Cons, I think it's because I have a uh, Generation 1 Switch, uh, the Joy-Cons read for the controls is just not always good. I'm gonna bring Sadako up front. Uh, there is actually a good case to be spoken about running on a Saki up front right now, because if we're lucky, we're gonna encounter something of equal level, which will make it more likely that we can use our... Quick ball for this. This would be really good. Because if we can do that. Oh, that one has a. What's it called? Fantastic Aura? Perfect Aura? It's something Aura. It's basically just. It has good stats. It, it's, it's a stamp of proof that has good stats, and if you defeat it or catch it, you also get rewards from it. So I guess from a flavor perspective, it's when a Pokemon has been affected by the nearby raids, but not enough that it Dynamaxes. Uh, these guys are so big, it's hard to tell where anything is. There's another Rotom. Not what we want right now. Um, the cloak, the cloak. Uh, probably not going to be looking at Chad at the moment, since I'm going to try and spot it. As a 1%er, I really don't want to miss it if it actually spawns. Nothing yet. Why did I ring the bell? I don't know. Oh, I know actually. I've been playing Resident Evil recently and um, pressing the left stick, which is the bell in this game, is the sprint button in Resident Evil 2. Did I say Resident Evil 6? I mind this all kinds of places. And it's apparently uh, making it hard to think. I mean, to be fair, that is nothing unusual for me, but still, that's another Rotom. So much for 2%, huh? I think the stats for that one might be a bit off, because it seems to be more common... There it is again. It seems to be way more common than uh, 2%, but the Drag Cloak stats are definitely correct if it spawns in this weather. That's the next thing. So, there it is. There it is, 1%. Okay. So... What's the level? Why did I hit... That's not... Goldark, get out of my way! We don't want you, we don't have you on our... No, actually, we don't have you on our team. We're working on getting you on the team. We want to meet this guy. Wasn't Goldark on the other side of the truck look? I, I feel like we got cheated by the hitbox again. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, if we're lucky, 
a quick ball into the trick. A quick ball did not do the trick. Oh no. Well, I mean, do you know the drill? It didn't work, so now we just we have 50 balls to go with. And it shouldn't be as hard to catch as a freaking legendary. It's only a pseudo legendary after all. So it's probably not I said that now, I probably offended it. <laughs> it's fine, no biggie. That was a critical hit though, that that hurt. And so the fact that that was a critical hit puts me a bit more on ease on regard, um, in regard. Okay. I need to speak slower, that my mouth and my brain can stay in sync. <laughs> uh, U-turn shouldn't do anything for it, right? Yeah, because I can't switch. Oh, do I have... Anything... This might paralyze it. It's not Dragon Water, right? Uh, just find this data on this. It's just. Yeah, it's Dragon Ghost, obviously. Dark. This should not be that bad. And there's a chance that I might paralyze it. It's paralyzed. That's perfect. Okay. So, um. You like the design of that one. I find it to be a bit derby looking, to be honest. But, to be fair. I'm not generally I'm generally not a big fan of reptiles and dragons and dinosaurs and the like, so I'm kind it's kinda of not down my alley. Um it's not a bad design by any means. By any means, it's a really good design. Like it's very creative and I cannot catch that thing right now, so we're gonna substitute. But Oh, substitute costs health. Oh right, yeah, okay. Hmm. Yes. That is a price to pay for, for, for that, unfortunately. The good thing, the, the really good news is about... Oh, I wrote him, okay. The really good news when we catch this, because we will catch it. If not this one specifically, then the next one. Oh, and uh, if anyone can come up with a nickname while I'm working on this, it's basically a female drag. Um, that's a female dragon in Warcraft, isn't it? Like, that could work. It is a ghost though, so if it's... I don't know. Maybe an undead female dragon, is that a thing? I haven't actually played much Warcraft since Warcraft 3 came out all the way back. I haven't even... I haven't gotten around to play the remaster yet. I haven't heard too much good about it, unfortunately. But that's a completely different topic. But, to get back to my point, once we get this one, the only thing we haven't caught that is currently technically available to us... Stay in the ball, please. Um, is Corsola. I really wish we could have that one. But I believe it's either being really lucky by finding it in a raid den, or it's overcast at Giant's Mirror, I think. Okay, we got it. Cool. Sindragosa. Sindragosa. That, is that correct? Correct. She's a giant dragon half the races. You know what? It actually seems fitting, and I don't think anyone else has anything better. So... I definitely don't have anything better. I mean, it fits It fits the gender, it fits the fact that it's a dragon, and it sounds like it also fits the fact that it's undead, so... Or at least aligned with the undead. So we're going with it. Sin... Sin... How do you spell it? Sin... Dra... Like dragon... Then... Go... And Sa. In draw Gosa. Central Gosa. I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, but to be fair, it's a fictional name, so how would I know how to pronounce it? Um and with that there's one thing I want to check. Giant's mirror here. The weather is not correct, unfortunately. <laughs> that's that's really annoying. Um, so we'll have to wait with Corsola. There are two other Pokemon we... Uh, two other Ghost-type Pokemon that we wouldn't be able to get because they require us to... I think it, they require Foggy Weather, which is only post-game content, which is after the leak. We will be doing the post-game content as well. 
So we might get it later, but we just can't get it before the leak. And that is uh, Sableye and Mimikyu, unfortunately. But for now... Um... Oh right, I forgot that... Uh, no, not there. Now that we're done with that, we actually have to, to use the train from, um, from Ham Hamlock. It's a bit... I find it a bit sad, and to some extent, that the trains are so underutilized in, in this game. I like trains, to be fair, and but I can understand why. It's a matter of um, convenience. It's not convenient if you have to... Let's say that you have to fly to a town to then take the train to then fly to the next area. It's... It, it's just for flavor reasons, it would have been nice if the trains were a bit more prominent. Like, if I remember correctly, uh, the UK has a pretty substantial history in trains. Now, this is like super nerdy of me, I know. Uh, how do we how do we evolve Cinderosa? Is that just leveling up? Leveling up to 60? Oh, I, I guess it is a pseudo-legendary, so that makes sense. Hmm. That's only five levels, it's fine. Meanwhile, Ascot is actually only like three or four levels away from being done. Though if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to... Um, we should save. And by we, I mean I should, because you can't control that, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna head to the... Uh, train station. That's what it's called. I was on a ramble about that. I'm gonna meet Hop here if I'm not wrong, because Hop just really likes to travel with us. Uh, he's over here, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Uh, it basically just gives them an excuse to have a train ride where we're not completely quiet. Plus, Ryan's here to be like, hey, you did well. You should totally take off the, the uh, lead cop or whatever. A big part of the industrial revolution. That is true. With the whole steam engine and and stuff. I'm back on the on the thing with the um, with the trains again. That is very true. Winden. I really like Winden for what it is. It's. I have one thing I find interesting about it, and it's the fact that it looks so grand and still manages to feel really small. But I, f I think that's generally a thing that that happens with a lot of towns in Pokemon. No, I do not want to go on the train again. As much as I love trains, uh, it's generally a thing that happens in Pokemon. Like we had the same issue in in um... what's what's the region of what's the what's the region based on France again? The generation I came back to. But I do not remember what... Um... What is called. But yeah, uh, Lumio City. I remember it. the capital's name for some reason, if not the region. Lumio City had the issue that... It was really big, but it felt really empty. Because, like, there was a... Well, it didn't really feel that empty. The main issue was that what it had was was a lot of battle cafes and trying to find your way around it was a bit problematic. Um, we're in an ice area, so I'm expecting mainly ice types here. Yeah, I don't remember the region of X and Y either. I came back to the games with that generation, I should remember. Uh, I'm not gonna look it up. Hmm. Oh well. Da, da, da. So, oh, okay, super effective. Oh, it's the fairy typing, isn't it? I'm assuming it is. I'm a, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I seem a bit all over the place today. I, uh, I'm having one of those days where the head's just not quite screwed on right. Uh, the uses I know this one. This is a good attack. The wanted on Asgard. I 
do. Iron defense is also good. I don't feel like running setups in this <laughs> monotype run, mainly because it's... Uh, I don't really even need it so far. I will say, though, anything from the champion battle and until the end of the post game is challenging. Well, at least it was for my castle run. So I'm a bit worried. A tiny bit worried. Nothing too worrisome. Nothing we can't deal with if we just, you know, gain a few levels before we head in there. This guy's eyes are so bright. They are very anime. <laughs> okay, this is a steel type. I'm feeling very vindicated by... Vindicated is the right word? I'm feeling very um, good about having decided to run my, my star drop front. <laughs> it definitely makes this easier. I didn't expect all the trainers to... I guess most of the trainers are usually themed towards their route unless they're in... Why did I not switch Pokémon? I talk too much and feed too little. We six levels higher, so that also be fine, right? <clears throat> Yeah, that's not too bad. High horsepower is... Ouch. That's a ground-type attack. And then heal afterwards. We're gonna survive it because this is the last Pokémon. I'm faster, thus I get my hit in and... Well, the battle just stops after that. So no heal would take out Chantler, at least. Um... Hmm... I was trying to remember what the route looks like, actually. It's... Again, it's it's nothing like a... Champion's Road? Champion's... Victory Road! From the previous generations. Okay, I think that's just a sign in there, we're not gonna bother with that. Uh, actually, it's a really short road. It's right up here around the left corner, then take a, a right, so to speak, and go straight north, and... There. It's just one long route there with three or four trainers and you're done. I like the fact that I don't like the fact that my neighbors decided to start yelling outside again. Hopefully you can't hear that. Even though they're freaking um freaking loud. But I do like the fact that from yeah, actually it was since Generation 6, wasn't it, where they basically just took Victory Road and was like, no one seems to like it, let's just not do that. Like Generation 6, that is X and Y, they just made it into a hallway with, I don't think there was even trainers in it. Was the trainer outside? Played all. Uh, and then in Sun and Moon, they, they did bring back Victory Road, but it was much more manageable. Although Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon did expand a bit on it, it, it was still not a labyrinth, which that was my main issue with all the generations, the whole labyrinth thing. Like, I really don't, I just want to get to the league at that point. I know why they did it though. It's both a um, skill check to make sure that you are ready for the gym, and it's also one last chance to get some battles in, I don't want you to decide. Uh, some battles in that give you some XP to make sure that you're at a level that is well, fitting for the league. The problem is... Well, there are two problems, in my opinion. There were two problems. First thing is random battles. Because it's a dungeon. That doesn't really make it fun. And then you use repels and that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole battling to get levels. Well, I mean, there's still trainers, but the trainers are usually so high level that it's just a struggle, so you, won't, you end up wanting to run out and heal, and in the early generations you didn't really have that much money, so getting healing items was a pain compared to later generations, at least if you wanted to also have healing items for the league. And I just, I'm specifically thinking of the generation 3, um, what is it, it's... Fire Red and Leaf Green right now, because that's one of the games I had the most experience with recently. Those games, they've aged surprisingly well, but you, you can definitely feel some of the um, design choices from the 90s. I, I'm glad we have gotten this convenient gaming now. 
I was, I mean, it's a matter of what kind of player you are, of course. Personally, I'm a casual player when it comes to Pokémon. I really just want to explore the region, catch all the Pokémon, and see if there is a good story. And that about sums up what I want when I'm doing these challenge runs for some reason. But, you know, these games seem to be good enough. I mean, this generation, for all its flaws, is still good enough that it, I felt like I wanted to play them again. Fly gone. Uh, I'm sensing a theme here where, where they start with something that's weak to fire and then something that's smart to fire. That's interesting. But if you go further back generations, they are... I think they're aimed more towards a more hardcore segment. If you, like, not necessarily aimed at them, but simply that style of gameplay, if you want to appeal to anyone with that today, it's a slightly more hardcore segment where they're like, okay, I want to focus on doing a lot of battles and, you know, setting up a team. And why did you send out Tantra again? That's so mean. That's so mean. That's unnecessarily mean, Flygon. Also, what are the odds? <clears throat> I mean, the odds are literally 1 in 5, but... <clears throat> I need something to drink because my voice is giving in. We might actually be able to make it to Winton. We're not gonna make it to the leak. Because there is a story segment before the leak. Uh, aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Okay, this is, a, <laughs> this is a mystery that I have been wondering since uh, all the way back on Route 2 or 3, where we, most, where we met Postman Pat. Postman Pat? Postman Pat. A postman. And Vox said that uh, there was only one postman in the entire game. And I was certain I'd seen one somewhere else, but I had to just admit that apparently not, because we hadn't seen one anywhere else and we were almost at the end of the game. Here he is! I knew there was at least one more. I just couldn't put a finger of where he was. Apparently all the way up here. The entirety of the Galar region has exactly two postmen. <laughs> I'm assuming they just don't deal much with post uh, with mail. Which, I mean, let's be honest, the modern society is a bit, uh, we go, we're, we're getting, we're still heading towards uh, paperless, um, society? My brain's just completely given up. It's probably for the better that this stream is sooner over, because I am just, I'm not finding the words today. Right, it's flying time. That uh, could have been avoided. It's also faster than me, so I should probably switch to something that makes more sense then. Pressure. I, hmm. Still need to look up what pressure does because I honestly don't remember. Uh, we switched over to Dos it's a Grim Keeper simply because it's not weak to anything. Or it's overrated. Yes, cats, they definitely are. <clears throat> it just healed itself, really? Aww. Look at all that progress lost in one simple move. Look at all that progress regained in one simple move. Special defense fell. That's good because that means we'll do more death. That the other I'm probably head early to bed today, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Because I know for a fact that in an hour or so I'll be wide awake again. <sighs> right. I'm sitting here thinking, why did the why did the weather go weird on the on the battle arena? Right, because it decided to change from rain to hail. I guess the, the clouds seem to... <laughs> Let's not think too much about how that works. Uh, we'll just slot bomb this one. We are so much higher level that it should be fine. So when that move that I always forget what it does. Look it up and then forget it again. Selwind is actually one of the few moves that I remember specifically what does. Uh, because... 
um, because I tried to do a bit of the online battling in this game, in the ranked. And it was by the time that everyone realized that if you run Dracowick together with something that has Tailwind, you basically had, at the time, an unstoppable force of, of destruction. Obviously the meta has changed now because people have found counters, but when it was first uh, found out, that 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 kind of broken. <clears throat> so that's why I remember Tailwind, because I've had first-hand experience with it. And I've learned how useful it is. Never used it myself, but I've seen how useful it is. I really... it's funny, you, this is unrelated to that, but it's funny how used to being able to rotate the camera you get when you're in the wild. And then you enter here and it's like, I want to look, I want to see more on my left, so I want to turn the camera, but I'm not allowed to. So mean. So another thing about this victory road, if we can call it that, is um, there's a tent here. Which is a spot you can fly to. So, this is really just easy mode. Well, except for the trainers to some extent if you're not prepared for them. But the whole traveling this area? Not too bad. Then again, most of the rounds have attempt to that, that allows for that. This is the final stretch before we hit Winden. Um, about 10 minutes. I might go like a few minutes over, it's fine. This guy has a rock as his front. I do not want to run my my um, fire Pokemon against that for pretty obvious reasons, I think. <clears throat> Stealth Rock. Okay, so we're not going to be switching any more Pokemon because that thing is annoying. And then again, we could do it and then just fly back and heal, fly back here again. Uh, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Yes, three Pokemon. Did I see that right? A bit more on the annoying side. I had hoped it was just a two. That's actually one more thing that I found. Some... <laughs> I know I'm going a bit off topic of what we're doing, but it's basically just me spamming a button to go through the battles at this point. Um, when I replayed Generation 3's remake games, I was surprised to be reminded that trainers weren't, uh, didn't used to be, um, you know, limited to just, um, what's it called, to just um, three Pokemon tops and then the gym leaders would have more. Um, they used to run pretty significantly large teams. <laughs> that that came on, it, that, that's one thing I think they probably didn't need to do in regards to the newer games, like twist the difficulty curve in that manner. I think it's still a it would still be a good idea. Oh, Phantom Force, I want that, if I remember correctly. Yes, I do want that. Uh, there is a case to be spoken about Lead Seed. I am not a big fan, in this run at least. But it's fine. Um, thoughts, I had them a moment ago. I was talking about difficulty. Yeah, I feel like they should... I mean, I understand why they did it. They tried to make it so that, okay, so in the first few routes you have some... We will always have someone with one Pokemon, and then after that they get like two... And then it usually tops out at three when you're not in the gym. I kind of feel that they could have kept that curve going. So that I, I believe the only, the only trainer who has a full team of Pokemon in this game, before the post game, is the champion. Anything up to that, five Pokemon. I'm, I, that's one way to artificially make sh make it look like Leon is more competent than everyone else, I guess. I just think it's a weird design choice, personally. But again, I mean, they're trying to, they're definitely trying to try and. Strike a Destiny Bond is actually a decent move if used correctly. I don't feel like it's worth giving up on anything on Sadako for though. But it's def um, that, is that design choice is definitely catered towards the idea that... Um... Shoot, what did he switch out to? Let me just look at this. No, you know what, we'll just do it. A Lynx, that's fine. 
Uh, definitely, they're, they're trying to balance the difficulty so that it, it strikes a balance somewhere between casual players and the slightly more hardcore segment. The thing I don't understand, there's a lot of things I don't understand about Game Freak, and I'm gonna talk about a bit of them here. Please stop me in chat if it's boring to listen to, though. But I just don't understand why they haven't introduced a difficulty setting. Because that way they could have it so that they have just the exact same NPCs. But if the difficulty is higher, maybe give them larger teams, for instance. Or tweak the, the AI to pick more optimal choices, stuff like that. It shouldn't be that hard to pull off the, the question, though. Uh, Gravlock is a pure fighting type Pokemon. Uh, just gonna run Grim Keeper on that. Um, actually, wait a second. Fighting type. Ghost. Ghost, 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 ghost. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, they tried something with difficulty uh, settings in black and white, from what I recall, but it kind of seemed to be in a weird way. So I, I think the reason they haven't done it is probably. A theory is that it's probably because um, my brain just died again. <laughs> it's probably a matter of uh, cost efficiency and development. Like they want to build the game, but is it cost efficient for their team to to also try and balance out an entire campaign for a higher difficulty and a lower difficulty alongside each other? Or try and hit that middle road that will, will likely appeal to most trainers and then just give people the more hardcore um, battles either post-game or in the battle tower? I think that's the philosophy they're running by and I can, I can respect that to be honest. Because Let's be honest, Game Freak is on a freaking time crunch when it comes to development. They... We gave them a lot of flack because of weird choices they've made over time. And some of it is well deserved, some of it is definitely an overreaction. Some of it is just... Like... Some of the things they do are... Uh seems to be misguided in regards to probably it's probably they've heard something from a minority of players and they're like oh i guess this is what people want and they go in that direction that's definitely what happened with x and y where they were like oh well, all the polls say that all the statistics say that people don't have any attention span anymore so we should make it like quick and snappy and, and honestly kind of boring x and y had a solid engine behind it but let's be honest the game the story was pretty <laughs> The story fell a bit flat in the end. Um, I think it's something like that combined with... Probably just sometimes they want to try new things and it just doesn't always pan out. I mean, let's let's bring up a slight controversial thing. I think it's safe to bring it up now because it's been a while, but... Um, the deck set, the whole idea that the national deck is not included in this game. I hated it myself. Honestly, I did. Because I collecting all the Pokemon is basically what I do in these games, so I didn't like the idea that I couldn't have them all. Plus, I've gotten into a habit of moving my team over per generation. And that was just not possible in one to one anymore. Uh, it forced me to try all out the new Pokemon though, so that is actually not a bad thing. But I feel like there were probably more elegant ways of announcing it first and foremost and probably also executing it. It feels like they've... I, here's an interesting thing, because I can't tell if uh, what happened. feels like they backpedaled after all the controversy with the expansion packs. N not the controversy, but the controversy with the expansion packs, but like, they backpedaled with the expansion packs after the controversy. There we go. Building the census is in the right order. <laughs> uh, by promising us, I think it's a total of 200 more Pokémon. Which means there's only about, what is 200 or 400 left? Uh, 600 plus 200, about 200 more left. Which I speculate would be released in the remake of Gen 4, I assume, if we get those. It depends on how feisty uh, Game Freak feels, if they're gonna do something unexpected, because they, they seem to like to do that in these years. Um, 
but the the point here was that it's I can't tell if they backpedaled because of the controversy and, and he was more Pokemon, or if it was planned all along. If it was planned all along, I think it would have been wise of them to have told us when when everything went wrong. But then again, I mean, the controversy worked out great for them, even though they caught a lot of flack from, from the user base. Their game sold better than, well, basically any game, any of the uh, Pokemon games. Oh, look who's evolving. Asgard. Cool. So, I mean, uh, why am I debating this on a livestream about Monotype? Basically because these battles are nothing to, to really talk about, right? Also, I don't really do, like, vlogging in regards to talking about that kind of topic, so this gives me an excuse, and it's relevant for the top. It's, it's relevant, it's Pokemon, and it's the right games. Uh, there is a pathway up here to the right, if I remember correctly, yep, with a move. Thumping Tantrum. And, as you could see... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you agree. Also, says don't worry about uh, not talking too much. It's fine. Uh, as you can see, here is the here is the uh, the wall of Winden. We'll be entering a really big town right now, and we'll probably do the initial cutscenes, and I'll save, and we'll call that a stream. And it should be all good from there. Ah, Winden is I I, I kind of like the music in Winden. Um, if you get a chance, you can probably not hear it that well in my stream, but look up the music afterwards. It's really. Like, it's interesting because it strikes a balance between sounding like a big city, but then it sounds like this grand city, and then it switches over to a slightly more ominous feel, which is actually really fitting when when uh, the plot... Oh, that's a really interesting clock tower they had. Um, but yeah, that's a really... It's kind of fitting for what happens in the story. Um, I, I love music. I'm sorry. Especially the video game music, because there's no... There's no artist to write lyrics that are dumb and annoying and don't make sense. Or who just auto-tunes their voice to a point where it's like, you're not even singing anymore. I'm not a big fan of modern music, I'll admit. There is, I mean, there's always some good. But that's a complete, that's a talk for a different time. We have now made it to Winton. And actually, in basically on time for what I wanted. So... Um, it looks like next time will be the league. Well, at least the initial... Uh, yeah, the initial steps of the league. We are... Oh, actually, do we have... Let me check something. We're four levels away from Santa Grossa evolving. Can we? Can we get that done today? We can. This is not the best use of any um, rare candies ever. But, I want to do this because that means that all the stuff we have is now fully evolved. It is done. We've done it. Sintergosa, evolving into... It's funny because the thing on its head is a Dreepy, which was his first date. We've never got its first date. And it's a full evolution, it has two Dreepies, which are like missiles in its uh, head cannon. Oh my god. This Pokémon is head cannon. I never realized that before I said it out loud. Huh. The more you know. Well, um, you know what? Dragon Darts. I believe that is a signature attack, so we definitely want that on it. Uh, what do we want to replace it with? We'll probably remove U-Turn since... I mean, it's handy, but it doesn't have stab or anything, and I think we'll be fine without it. So, doing that is the last thing. We now have... Um, complete set, basically. The only thing we, have, as I said earlier, the only thing we have gotten that we we could potentially have gotten if the weather was correct, or if we were lucky in rates, is uh, Corsa Cursola, not Corsola, which evolves into Cursola. Anything else is here. All of it. And fully evolved. So, <laughs> I knew you two would like it. Uh, that's some cats. I knew you would. Yeah, I think with that we're gonna wrap up tonight. Wrap snobs. I swear, sometimes I just switch over to talking simlish. Like too much the Sims when I was younger, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that'll be it for tonight. It matches up with stream for two hours, and 
yeah, it was fun. I mean, we had a bit of a bump at the start, but it seems like it's resolved itself, so no picky. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone, and for, you know, helping with naming things and just keeping a good mood in the chat as per usual. It's always fun. And uh, I hope you found it fun too. Until next time, please do take care, and uh, I'll see you in the next stream in about two weeks' time. <laughs> Bye for now!